Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you a rather uh, unusual and unique item. It is a cipher uh, for the blind. Uh, it uses braille characters. This was kind of a labor of love for uh, ourselves and, and Michael Healy of Cyphertown.com who provided much of the design support. We went through a lot of iterations to this to find something actually working with blind people that would be functionally uh, useful. And we did come up with this. The, the dots are all the same size, uh, raised appropriately. Uh, you have two concentric disks here. The top one turns. The top one has the English alphabet uh, going in order clockwise. The bottom, well, both, both in text, readable text and braille. And the bottom disk has uh, the same letters but going uh, counterclockwise. We've kind of notched, uh, there's a single notch on the outer wheel to help you locate the A quickly, and then on the opposite side, the opposite letter of A is the N, and it's got a double notch. Um, you'll notice that there's a, a hole in the uh, top wheel at the letter A. Now I'm going to explain to you how to actually use this cipher, um, and uh, the, that letter A is quite significant because it is the pointer. The top wheel represents, when you're encoding a message, the top wheel represents the English text that you're trying to encode, or, I mean, it could be French, any, any alphabet that uses English, uh, the Roman characters. Uh, so, the A becomes, always becomes a pointer. It points to the first letter of our key, keyword, uh, or key phrase. Or in some cases, it just could be one key letter. If you wanted to use what's called a, a monoalphabetic cipher, you would just use one letter as the key. Now, how does this thing work? Well, I've created a little uh, worksheet. Now, I realize that it, it won't uh, help the blind much, but it will help the sighted uh, in, in educating. Also, by the way, I, I, I did want to point out that uh, Michael Healy wrote him just an amazing instruction sheet it's uh, 12 pages long with just lots of background that will be useful and lots of details on how to use this cipher. In addition, you will get this, uh, this copy of this worksheet. Okay, let's encode a message. Now, our message is going to be uh, pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be the message hello, and I've actually done the work here. And we're going to use a keyword of stone. The keyword is repeated throughout the message. So if it, uh, you know, hello, if the message was hello, Mr. Smith, this, the stone would just keep repeating for as long as the message continues. Stone, 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 so forth. Um, the longer the keyword, the more difficult it is to decrypt the message for those without the machine, without knowledge of what the, uh, the key is. All right. So, how, how would I do this? Well, the first thing I do is take my pointer, which is the letter A, and this is going to help us lock it in when we get into position. And I'm going to find um, the letter S, which is the first stone, in stone, which is the first letter of our key. So, uh, in, 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 this is S, yes. So I'm going to take the pointer A and put it on the S, this is the S in real, and lock it into place. Now my, my wheel is positioned. If I was using a monoalphabetic cipher, it wouldn't move. I would come to my message, the first letter of my message being an H, find the H, and then I would read down to find the first letter of my encoded message. And these three uh, dots here are an L. So the first message, the first letter would be an, an L. If I was using the monoalphabetic type, I would come over to an E and I would read down to the uh, next uh, character, and this, I believe, is an O. Okay. To use the more com complex and harder to decipher polyalphabetic cipher, however, after we've encoded the H and become an L, we will move our key pointer to the letter T. So the key a is always the pointer moves to the letter T in Braille. The outside, this is the letter T, so the A is pointing to the T. And now I go to find the letter E on the inner wheel. Here it is. And I read down with my finger and I find that the E encodes to the letter P. 
there's the letter P in Braille. The next step would be com to come to the, to the next letter of my key and reset the pointer. Uh, so let's see, uh, and right here is O. So I would reset the pointer, then I would come up to the next letter of my key, of my uh, text word, which is L, and I would read down, and the L becomes a D. Okay. and so forth. I would move the pointer to the N, I would read down on the L, it would become a C. The, move the pointer to the E, uh, find the O, and read down, and it becomes a Q. And continue this throughout the message. To, if I'm receiving a, an encoded message, I would kind of just, just work it in reverse. I would still set the pointer to the first letter of my uh, key. Um, because I'd have to know the key to decipher. I'd have to have the machine and I'd have to know the key. But then instead of reading down, I would read in the other direction. I would have the given I would be given the L. I would find the L on the um, on the um, outer ring and I would move up and I would find that the uh, the actual text letter is the H. So the L becomes an H. I hope this, uh, this uh, little tutorial will help you in, in actually using the wheel. Um, it, uh, it does have, as I say, quite an extensive uh, um, instruction set here. And uh, I know that either Michael or, or myself will be glad to help. Our contact information is on the instruction sheet. These are made uh, right here in our uh, Hudson, Florida shop. Um, this is the wheels are laser cut, so these, these dots are quite accurately placed and sized, and the depth uh, is, uh, well, I'm told, uh, about right what it should be for uh, comfortable reading. Okay. All right, and I, I uh, again, I thank you very much and hope it's something uh, you can have some fun with. Dave at Creative Craft House.